Hello everybody! This video is a little different. It's not the usual speed paint, take you through the process kind of bullet journal video that I like to post and I, that I will continue posting those on a monthly basis, but this one's a little different. This one is a flip through of what became one of my mom's uh, Christmas gifts from me. I decided since she uses journals and notebooks all the time, as many of us do, but I know she doesn't have the time or she wouldn't really do bullet journaling on her own, I thought it would be a great gift idea to make her one and make her uh, essentially a planner bullet journal style. Uh, in a very creative way, the way that bullet journals in the community tend to be, but already done for the whole year for her. I wanted it to be themed, so I decided she would really like the botanical plant theme, uh, so I decided to stick with that theme for the whole year, changing the month. So each month is a different flower or tree or plant or something botanical. I will add captions at the start of each month of uh, what flower specifically I did in case there's one that you don't know the name of and you'd like to look it up and look up what my inspiration was. But for now I'm just going to highlight a few that I, because all of them I picked uh, with intention in terms of why I thought it made sense that particular flower or plant for that particular month of course starting with the pine trees in January but other ones that I specifically wanted in that month were for example for April I really wanted to do sakura trees because uh, I love them and I know my mom loves them and the beginning of April is the prime time of when they bloom so that was perfect for that month and then following that up I really wanted to do roses in May one because they bloom in May but also because my mom loves roses and May is her birthday month so I wanted to make May extra special and then there were other occasions where I didn't pick them necessarily based on when they bloom but based on what I thought would match the month itself so for example in October I picked lavender because one, it's I wanted something with a darker color in October and I thought purple was a perfect color theme for October. And then also lavender is, for example, very commonly used in witchcraft and I thought that matches October very well as well, while still keeping it botanical and not going all the way for the Halloween. Another one I wanted to highlight was the December one. I picked Pascuas for December, which I can't remember the name in English right now if I find it. I will mention it whenever the flip through gets to December, but they are extremely common to put in house balconies and on the entrance steps of houses and everything in Puerto Rico and I'm sure in other countries as well. So there was no other choice for December, it had to be that. I also added pen loop at the, in the back. Um, it's a sticker actually that I, I can't remember what brand it was because I got a three pack quite a while ago and I've used two. Uh, I, I used one of them. I'm saving one for my future bullet journal and then I used the, another one for my mom's bullet journal and then I got her a Sakura jelly roll because I thought she'd like it. It's just plain black but she can use it for making her notes right then and there. And then in terms of how much space it took, I didn't really do any trackers or anything that's common in bullet journaling because I don't really think she would use it. She really just uses the day-to-day -day planning, weekly planning, so I left quite a bit of space for notes in each week. And then of course a notes page per month for whatever other notes she needs to do, like grocery shopping lists or things she needs to do overall for whatever she needs. And then I also wanted to make sure I left quite a bit of space after the whole calendar is done. So basically normal notebook space, because she uses that a lot as well. She usually always is carrying around both a planner and a plain notebook. So I thought it would be perfect since the whole year doesn't take the whole notebook by not doing trackers and extra things. It was perfect then to have both her planner and her notebook in one. So essentially the second half of the notebook is a normal empty notebook. As for other materials that I used, uh, I did pretty much everything with the Tombow Dual brush pens and fineliners. I used both the Copic fineliner, black fineliner, 
and the Artline Fine Liner that I use very often in my own videos as well, both in a size 1.0 or 0 0.1, 0 01. I think it's 0 01. Yeah, I thought it was the perfect width so that the lines are relatively thin and the and the focus is on the colors, which I know she will prefer that. If you'd like to replicate or grab some inspiration from any of these spreads, just feel free to pause the video and use it as inspiration for your own bullet journal or planning system, whatever it is that you use. Of course, the everything is in Spanish because it was for my mom, but I mean, you know the months in your own language, so... January through December, I went in order, and many of them do sound very similar to the English version, uh, to the English translation. So I think that will be easy to figure out. I will leave you with the music, and have a fantastic day. Bye. Thank you.